You're watching Telecom TV for Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined now by Veo Contas, who is Head of SOC Development at Nokia. Veo, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Tell us more about your role at Nokia. I'm heading the SOC design team in mobile networks. What are the top challenges of 5G that will keep your R&D teams busy throughout 2019 and into next year? And how will Nokia address these? Yes, it's an important question. 5G, the technical requirements are much you know, tougher than are in 4G. What opportunities and use cases will drive the acceleration of 5G adoption? The 5G will come in three flavors. One is high data rate, which is like uh, you no know, gigabits per second. So that's the first thing that, that people are waiting for. Then second, which is not so visible, but is very important, is uh, low latency which is today it's in the order of 40 milliseconds and, and uh, in 5G target is to go below one millisecond. There's a huge difference. Can you explain to us more about Nokia ReefShark? ReefShark it's a chipset family and we launched that a year ago. We wanted to tell our customers that, that uh, it's, it's a big concept and it's a, sort of a family of different SOCs including software and we want to tell our customers that, that uh, we do our SOCs by ourselves and then we sort of you know, wanted to publish the underlying technology like there's Intel inside, there's ReefSock inside at Nokia base stations. How do the requirements for custom silicon design change as we evolve from 4G into 5G? I already mentioned the high data rate, so that puts a lot of requirements for the uh, performance and still the power cannot go up much. Of course, it goes up some degree, but uh, it's very crucial that, that we pay attention to the power. The world is turning greener, and, and uh, so everything has to be just performing better, almost at the same power. So that's one challenge. Then another challenge is that uh, we need to use more of the very latest silicon technologies to achieve all this, because power goes down with the next nanometers, and, and uh, so that is forcing us to use the very latest technologies in, in silicon and computing and everywhere. So it's a big engineering challenge. How do partners such as Intel help Nokia manage this complexity? Yes, it's clear we need partners. We have own design capabilities, but we, of course we don't have own silicon manufacturing. So manufacturing partners are needed. Then we need also design partners so that, uh, for example, we take a processor core from our partner and they help us you know, implementing it. And um, then in an SOC design, there are two phases. One is front-end design phase, one is back-end. And typically, the partners do the back-end, i.e. the physical layout, rather than what we would do it. And uh, so that's the main way. Then, of course, when we're talking about Intel, the, I would say there are three areas. One is that, that we use the FPGAs, these Altera FPGAs, Second is we use their Xeon processors, which are very powerful. Third is that, that we use their silicon process in some Nokia-specific designs. So all these three areas, you know, we have been involved with Intel and continue to be involved with Intel. And finally, what is the 5G use case that personally excites you the most? Okay, maybe I sort of start from our Nokia vision, and there we see that the the industry is the first one, and this IoT and those machines, they are the first to use 5G. The customers come later. I mean, normal phone users, they come later. But then, personally, I think that the, this kind of uh, artificial intelligence that's pretty closely linked to 5G because you have a lot of big data, that is very important. Then uh, augmented reality, gaming, real-time gaming, they step to a next sort of possibility. Autonomous driving is an important use case, which will be enabled by, by 5G. So people talk about that, but uh, or those, but they don't understand that they need 5G to be implementable or doable because of the high data rates, low latency, and all those features that 5G will bring to you. Beo, thank you very much indeed. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.